Stephen Wilcox was invited to attend Minnesota State Mankato from an outgoing coach. Years later, he was invited as an instructor from a respected professor. As a student and instructor, he credits the university as a key source of pride and success. In the 1960s, Steve's high school swim team in Omaha, Nebraska was visited by Minnesota State Mankato's swim coach, Dan Robinson. Robinson talked to Steve one-on-one -on -one about the university, then named Mankato State College, and what it had to offer. That visit made all the difference when it came for Stephen to choose a future. Um, I looked at some schools in Colorado, but uh, I, I think uh, just the fact that Mr. Robinson expressed interest in me and, and uh, wanted me to continue to swim is one big reason I ended up at what was MSC at that time. Steve enrolled at the university to pursue a degree in finance. In his first three years, he found a strong connection with the swim team, competing as a member of two conference championship teams and serving as a co-captain of the team his junior year. Three years into school, though, Stephen left college to take time off and deal with his parents' divorce. That had a big impact on me, both financially and emotionally. And so for a couple years, in the middle 1970s, I actually kind of bounced in and out of school. My mother finished her education, earned her master's degree, and was in a position where she could help me again financially. And so I ultimately finished up late 1970s, early 1980s. Um, in terms of support, I need to give a shout out to my mother. Unquestionably, she's been the biggest supporter of uh, my life. And without her, I wouldn't be where I am today. Just as swim coach Robinson influenced Steve's early days at the university, finance professor Henry Okleshen strongly influenced his life after graduation. After Steve received his MBA from Indiana University, it was Okleshen who offered him a job teaching at Minnesota State Mankato, first on a fixed term basis and later upon receiving his PhD and his certification as a certified financial analyst, a job as professor. Steve has been at the university for 30 years. You know, you see young people and their goals and dreams and things of that sort, and uh, it infects you. And uh, I'm uh, almost 68 years old now, but uh, I still like it. I still enjoy the interaction with students, and uh, they're a big reason why I'm still here. Outside the university, Steve shares his swimming skills as a coach in the community. Dating back to the 1970s, he founded the Mankato Mantas Swim Club and coached YMCA swimming, high school swimming, and college swimming, among other groups. Inside the university, he's at a place where he provides the kind of guidance he received to today's students. Well, I think the most important thing in life, uh, what you should value most, is just persistence. You know, very few of us are blessed with uh, natural abilities or we can just rely on those for success and it's just important that you keep taking steps forward. And if I had one thing to tell uh, my current students, it would be keep moving forward, you know, persist. Eventually you'll be successful. Steve does this while taking great pride in a university that invited him both as a student and as a professor. I owe a lot to the university. It's hard to focus on just one thing. The support I've received here as a, as a student and as a graduate, and now as an employee, it's, it's incredible. I mean, I, I feel blessed to have been part of the school. I really do.